accept than the Yeah, I don't have really much, you know, me, I, I sometimes have a lot to say. I don't have much to say. Just a lot of not much compete from the guys. That's on me. I got to take the blame for that. What does that mean ultimately? Like, how, how do you I didn't get the guys to compete hard enough, so, I, so I'll, I'll take the heat on this one. We just had, it was a lot of no shows tonight. Do you think fatigue is a factor? I don't know. Listen, I know that we, we call this going to be a tough stretch, but you can't give in to its fatigue. You can't. You got to play smarter. Um, you know, you just got to do. You got to do things smarter. What is it that you need to do to get that effort? Just play smart and compete. So no, not X and O's. They came up with loose pucks. We didn't. I mean, you got side. I mean, there's nothing. You know, analyze it. There's nothing really to say. You so often talk about being connected. Yeah. I mean, can you tell early in a game when you don't have it? Yeah. Well, when it, I thought the first ten, I thought we were fine, and then all of a sudden there was a comedy of errors where guys were missing pucks and things like that, and then obviously we don't get the clear in the PK, and then it just started to unravel. We had some guys trying, but some guys were just had a tough time tonight. Is this, time. is this a point that you're happy that you've got some practice time now coming up at home to kind of reset? And... We're playing against Boston at 4 o'clock, so I don't know how much practice time we're going to yeah, I would love to practice for a week right now, but we can't. This is, a, this is a stretch that we need. So we need some guys to buckle up, change a few things maybe off the ice, get some rest. And uh, because, you know, this is, I mean, this is not even close to like playoff hockey. I mean, they, 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 try, they were desperate, but if these guys think playoff hockey is that, we're in trouble. There's been a couple of games here where we need some guys to get going. Um, you know, I don't care what our record is, but it's just been. You know, it's been a little bit disturbing, uh, some of the efforts from some of the guys right now. Right now. Rick, Ely McCann barely played. I don't know if he's one of those guys you're talking about, but where are you with him right now? I'm, I don't want to go through individual guys. I mean, he didn't play because I felt, you know, I thought there was a couple of things, that, you know. Well, I'm just looking for some guys to get going, you know. So Got to get going. Looks like Nolby on the power play actually wants the puck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what you, you tried Ronick, or you put Ronick there, and I think the idea was to try to get a, a lot of shots, and you didn't get many. What, what do you? Well, actually, our execution, like every, everybody's talking about, play. it's not about plays. We, we have chances to attack when we have people in front, and we defer not to shoot the puck. And then when you shoot the puck, we're not coming up with loose pucks. So everybody wants, the PKs now are aggressive. So when you beat an aggressive peak, you got to have the, whatever the word is, to take the puck, whatever, whether it's a shot. You guys talk about this talent. talent. Talent doesn't do anything if you don't work hard. You got to work hard. The best power plays work hard, and we're not really working hard, to be honest with you. Our clears were awful tonight. We had three times to get the puck down. We didn't get it down. So, you know, like I said, you know, Four game losing streak, and it's like every keeps saying the good thing adversity, but you know, we got to start to pick it up here. And we guys got to understand that when the puck comes on our rim, we have a technique to do it, and you have to have the BALLs to, to, to get the puck out. You can't just go in soft, and you can't ice pucks on a rim. Like, you got to be able to, you know, there's a reason we practice and we talk about technique and things like that. And then when the pressure hits, you got to, you know, those are where the reps that come into play. It should be foreign to you when pressure hits. Um, and we, some things in our staples are foreign to us right now. You know, chipping the body, maybe talking a little bit, hey, heads up, time, pocket. Nobody wants to make a call. So right now we're in that rut. And, you know, I got to find answers to this team. You haven't lost very often this season. Sure. But when you have, it's very rarely looked like that. Yeah. How do you hope your club responds? On Saturday? Well, yeah, I mean, you're looking for, it's not just leadership, you're looking for everybody. You know, I don't care who you are, just worry about your game. You know, now, everybody's capable of doing things, but are we willing to do it? Right now, there's some games there, and I don't want to, like I said, I thought we played good in Colorado. Minnesota, you know, whatever, five, four, three on twos, whatever, three on five on threes. Um, so it's not been horrible. I don't want to go crazy because of this game. But we've had some four or five guys have no shows here at four or five games. Now they got to pick it up. They got to do something. You have to. You can't just sit the bench and, and do nothing.
last night we didn't play well and lose. It didn't feel like one. Did this feel a little different to you? Yeah, I mean, I think that we were probably the better team in Minnesota. Just uh, four or five bad minutes there with penalties and whatnot. And then uh, Colorado was a good game. And, um, you know, they just had the, the goal there at the end. But tonight, obviously, not a great effort. And um, starts with me. But the good thing for us is that we have another opportunity, a big game on, on Saturday, 4 o'clock against Boston. It's going to be, um, I'm sure the city's going to be excited and fans are going to be lining up to watch. So it's um, an opportunity for us. I'm sure you're tired of being asked about the power play, but it just seems like it's really, like you threw a yeah. whole bunch of different things out there and nothing really stuck tonight. Yeah, sure. I mean, obviously it's going to be a focal point till um, we have a little bit more success and that's just the way it's going to be. But, um, you know, no one cares more than the guys that are on the ice. and. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to figure this out and get the job done. And if we can, I'm sure you know we'll find guys that can. I know that you obviously take a win anyway you can get it, but does it feel worse when you know, like tonight, you don't come close to your your top game as a team? Yeah, it doesn't feel great, obviously. But in saying that, I mean, we weren't going to win 75 games this year, and we can look at this as um, you know a chance to improve and. Um, go through a tough stretch here and come out of it, you know, on the other side a little bit better. So, so we were just going to try to look at it. How concerned are you personally about the last four games? Um, I mean, obviously not a great feeling, um, you know, going home on three. But um, I told you guys the whole year that I was going to try to be um, not too high or too low, and um, I think I've done a really good job at that so far. And I think the guys in this room have done a really good job. So the answer to your question is, uh, you know, obviously a level of um, where we know we need to be better, but also no one's panicking, and we just got to show up and be better tomorrow at practice, and then carry on this uh, Saturday. I know nobody's looking for excuses, but can you just give us a sense of how difficult is it to play ten games in seventeen nights with eight of them on the road? Yeah, I, I didn't even know that until you just said so. Um, obviously, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to that March homestead, but in saying that, I don't think that had any impact on um, what transpired tonight. Quinn, when you're dealing with this adversity, do you lean on some of the ways that you were able to respond earlier in the season to continue to have that confidence when you're battling through this event? Yes and no. I mean, obviously, um, the success we had there, you know, early in the season kind of looked back to what made us successful. But also in saying that, I mean, everyone's playing better hockey than they were in game five, 20, and 30. And um, people are ramping up. I mean, that, I haven't looked at the standings in the last couple of days, but I'm sure that's a team that's fighting for a spot. So. We have a little bit of desperation and we need to find, you know, our desperation.